like most nights she cries about this because it is a big thing. Oh, I'm just getting comfy in my shortsies. I'm getting comfy too. On me. What's up, Panda fam? How are you guys doing today? So, if you guys have followed me for a while, and uh, actually, even if you followed me for a very, very short amount of time, you probably already know about my gorgeous girl from Monica, <laughs> because she's in pretty much every video I make on this channel, on her channel, and on the relationship channel, link in the description if you haven't subscribed to it yet, Sam and Monica. Monica. What we're doing today is the struggle that every single long distance relationship has to go through. I'm leaving America in three days time. I've been here since April the 12th. We've done so much fun stuff and we've been to Florida, Jersey, road, well we actually road trip down to Florida, it was super cool. Signed up some new infinite management clients which are absolutely awesome. If you want to grow your Instagram as well by the way guys, you can do it for less than 50 bucks a month or less than 40 pounds a month. I'll put the link in the description yeah. for that as well. It's, it's our new service for infinite management. Unfortunately my time in America is coming to an end and I'm leaving in four days time. It's currently June the 10th and I'm leaving on June the 14th. At that point obviously as we're in a long distance relationship, we need to be apart for a certain amount of time um, to comply with visas and how long I can stay in America, how long Monica can stay in the UK for. I can tell I'm not exactly my bubbly, happy self right now because it's kind of sad, isn't it? Mm -hmm. This is the part we kind of really dread most about actually being in a relationship. Yeah. So, what we thought we'd do is uh, book Monica's flight on camera back to the UK. Obviously, we're planning for Monica to come over to the UK in about a month or so which would be amazing, like thankfully because we run an online business together and because we do so much stuff together it's much easier for us than a lot of long distance relationship couples it used not to be, we used to have mm. to spend 2-3 months apart from each other sometimes more Yeah. but at this point, now that we're running a business together online and you know we're, we're doing a lot more work online and all that kind of stuff um, it, it enables us to be able to spend a lot more time together so we generally only have to wait about a month or so to see each other which is it's. Well, it's, it's honestly amazing compared yeah. to a lot of long distance relationships, but lucky. you know, at the end of the day, it's still spending a month away from the love of your life. So it really, it takes a toll on you, really. Mm -hmm. I've been stressing out the past like week because when I'm booking my flight, it's like, do I book a one way? Do I book a return? If I book a return, what day am I coming back? And have I been in the UK long enough? Are we going to be going away while I'm there? So I hate having to like book a return because it's like, I don't know when I'm coming back. I usually book a one way, but I think I'm probably going to book a return I'm not sure but it's just annoying and stressful and it, it just drives me nuts so basically we figured out that Monica's allowed to be in the UK for 180 days a year so three months in three months off three months in three months off so actually 182 and a half days she's already spent 87 days in the UK so far this year and it's June and if she comes for three months now we really wanted to spend Christmas and her birthday together in the UK so that wouldn't be possible we need to figure it out, don't we, darling? But we think a workaround of this is there's different zones within Europe. If, if any of you guys are in a long distance relationship, this might help you. So Europe is split into two different zones. I, I've forgotten the name. It's like Skegness zones or something like that. But anyway, you, the UK is in a different zone to say like France and Spain and Italy and places like that. So if you go and spend three months in the UK on a tourist visa, you can then I think legally go and spend an extra three months in different parts of Europe um, because they're in different European zones. So what we're planning on doing is Monica coming over to the UK for two months or so, um, but actually spending a month of that in, on a Canary Island called Grand Canaria. We were looking at getting an apartment there for a month, which would be absolutely awesome and there'd be cool content for you and all that kind of stuff. If we did that, she came for two months, spent a month of it in Europe, she'd be able to come for her birthday and Christmas. And I know this sounds super complicated, but this is what our relationship is all mm. about. Like, we're having to work out exactly how much time we're allowed to spend in each country, legally speaking, and all that kind of stuff. And people always think it's such a perfect relationship, but then it comes down to this. It's like, it's really not, because if it was perfect, we'd be allowed to move in with each other. We'd be allowed to take the next step. We'd be allowed oh, to baby. not spend have... thousands and thousands on flights, like, every month. We've been dating for three years now. We want to move on with our life. We want to get an apartment. We want to settle down, all that kind of stuff. I want to buy a house with her. It's just, that's impossible when we're living so far apart. So we're thinking of Monica flying in on the 4th or 5th of July. We're going to spend about three weeks apart or so, which isn't too bad, is it? We usually no. spend more time apart. I see what the um, flight's like. But at the end of the day, it's still three weeks apart from each other. And we're, you know, when we're together, we're together 24 seven, like, and not only that, but we work like, together, so it's much yeah, easier. Yeah, and I don't want to be, I don't want to be cheesy, but she's the absolute love of my life. And I want to spend every waking minute with her. 
So, and considering we work together and stuff, like I said, like you said, the plan is to for her to fly into the UK on either the 4th or 5th because we've got a uh, two-day convention in London on the, th on the 6th and the 7th of July. And you love London, don't you? So you want to experience London. London. Yes. So, by the way, if you're in London, 5th, 6th, 7th of July, um, we are too, so maybe come and see us, come say hi, whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll be in the central. Right, so you spent 87 days so far. I have a day calculator on here that I always use. Bless you, you cutie. She sneezes like Minnie Mouse. How adorable is it? We found a really good price for a flight. It's five hundred and seventeen dollars direct return from the fourth of July to the twenty sixth of September. So, so that's really good. We generally pay. So when I'm flying to New York and back, like I said, we generally book one ways because we don't know when we're going to return, um, which does make it slightly more expensive, doesn't it? So this time I've probably paid six hundred dollars or so. Average is about six to eight hundred dollars. Sometimes a little bit less if we can get a good flight. But we do book stuff last mi last minute because we don't honestly we honestly don't really plan stuff that far in advance, do we? They're so bad. Because we don't really know what we're doing. We don't know when we're coming and going. We don't know when we're spending time in other countries and all that kind of stuff. So we kind of do honestly leave stuff within a couple of weeks or even like a week or so, like we're doing now. Four hundred and eighty dollars return. Okay. Direct return from JFK to Manchester. So. 87 days already plus 76 days, 163 minus 14, 149. Yeah, exactly. But we want to stay away for a month or so. Well, we'd have to stay away for a month or so, wouldn't we? So it'd be 133 days. So you've got 50, uh, 47 days in the UK. If I come for my birthday, which I don't know if I definitely am, but if I do, then we could go away for my birthday somewhere. Oh yeah, we haven't even taken that into account. Like, if we go away for a week or so for your birthday, it takes yeah. off another week. That could work. Wait, but when would you come back to America? I want to be there for our anniversary, which is the 16th of October. You want to be here? Yeah, I want to be here for, for our anniversary on the 16th of October. And then I want to fly back with you. Because I'm just scared to go by myself. Because they're going to be like, you were here already for almost like six months. I know. Um... I'm really proud of you. Why? Because you were crying the other night. You're not crying now. I'm not gonna cry. She cries a lot about it. Monica, Monica's very, very emotional. She's a very sensitive kind of emotional person. Which is absolutely amazing because she's like the most kind, kind of caring, selfless person ever. Now I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Sorry. Like most nights she cries about this because it is a big thing. If you're in a long distance relationship living, you know, a, a, a far distance away from your partner, would you rather take a 28 hour flight that's $420 or take a 7 or 8 hour flight that's $480 I know how to get a good thumbnail now guys, you ready? Don't! <laughs> You're so mean, see what if I, if I tickle her and she goes and then it looks like she's scared in the thumbnail or sad I mean Honey! Honey, honey! Honey, honey, that's honey, what happens honey. when you put your feetsies on me Honey! Come on, give me some sugar <laughs> I, I I need to put that in my Sam note. Give me some sugar. <laughs> she's got a Sam note for all the things that I say that she finds funny. She's got a Sam note. Because he's so funny. Give me some sugar. <laughs> I don't need to be there for my birthday. You don't? I want to be with you for your birthday though. I know, but I don't want us to have to force when I'm going home just because like, you want me to be there for your birthday. Because mm. Christmas is more important. No, your birthday's more important. It's just birthday. I'll have another one next year. You'll have another Christmas next year, honey. I know, but we've been waiting to do the Christmas thing for a while. Yeah. Have you ever had a Christmas in the UK? No, because remember I got kicked out last time. Oh, yeah. We were going to have Christmas in the UK in 2016. But Monica got asked to leave the UK, which was crazy because she hadn't even outstayed her welcome. Like, we, like, like we're doing now, we keep track of days. So that's annoying. Look, this is an accurate representation of our relationship, guys. She takes up nine tenths of the bed. I've got a little tiny spot to sit, and then she's the one saying I'm not nice. <laughs> See what's included. Yes, whole baggage is included. And you get a James Martin meal. Yay. Actually, they're really nice. I like aeroplane food. Does anybody else like aeroplane food? Because everyone always complains to me about aeroplane food. I hate food. aeroplane food. I like it. It's you know really I tasty. I pretend to be sleeping as he passes the aeroplane food. 
Because <laughs> I don't want I to say no. I hope my next door neighbour, you know, the person who's sitting next to me is sleeping so I can nick their food too. I always tell my next door neighbour, I say, hey, if you want my food, just take it when they come. Well, and, and then, then, and they, then come they come, and, like, and she's like, okay, ready? Three, two, one. You any people like as much as me. Was that your tooth? No, that was my eye. I've been there 87 days already. Yes. If I stay another 78 days. That. Cool. Would that count if I'm leaving at 10.35 in the morning? Minus if we went away for 14 days. 151. Plus if we went away again for a week for my birthday. Book this flight. This is the best price flight stuff, isn't it? So book this flight and then we can figure out how long we're going to spend in the UK, how long we're going to spend in other European countries when we're there. Let's book this from July the 2nd, which is arriving on July the 3rd, until September the 19th. And then I come over to America, and then based on how long we actually spend in the UK, you know, for example, if we do spend a month in Gran Canaria, that increases the amount of time we're allowed to spend back in England for your birthday and Christmas. So I guess we're just going to have to play it by ear, aren't we? Once we get to September 19th, yeah. When I subtract the two weeks of us going away, that's 150 days, so I'll have a month left. Exactly. I hate thinking about stuff like this. I hate thinking I'm going to leave in a few days and then we're going to be apart for so long. And my internet is the slowest thing ever at home back in the UK because I live in the middle of nowhere. So when we are apart for three weeks or a month or whatever, we can barely talk, we can barely FaceTime without it lagging, without it freezing or... It's just, it's a pain being apart from each other and I just hate thinking about it. Oh, add champagne. Oh honey, you're gonna need champagne to get through this flight. <laughs> She's typing in the details. <laughs> so Monica has typed in all her details for the flight. We, we're we just about to book a flight. It's a decent price, it's 520 bucks, which is cheaper than we usually get it for. July the 2nd, which flies overnight, so it arrives on the 3rd of July um, and then she leaves on the 19th of September, so it's a decent amount of time to go, it's like two and a half months or so. Yes! Finally! So Monica is officially coming to the UK from the 3rd of July to the 19th of September. <laughs> it's going to be a pain those three weeks, but... I can't wait to see you, baby, you in the see UK. My angel man. And you get to see my family and my animals. More important. Oh, for you. of course. She's, Lulu's getting her treats. The she's more excited to see my animals. The second I am there, Lulu's getting her treats. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah, I guess you know exactly kind of what's going on in our lives now when we're trying kind of traveling back and forth. Like I said, I'm leaving on the 14th. She's coming over on the 3rd until the 19th of September, and then we'll just play it by ear from there. So, thank you so much for watching again. Subscribe to Sam and Monica below. We're going to be posting twice a week on there. So it's I, I'm absolutely loving filming these videos on Sam and Monica. They're super fun. So yeah. subscribe, like I said, click the link below. And keep the love alive. Like, comment, and subscribe. Peace. We love you, Pat fam. And goodbye. goodbye.